thought I'd do an assessment video very quickly for the literature review and social observation plan, which is your second assessment item for HSP 107, Introduction to Policing. So, we have got the due date set for the end of week 9, Friday the 22nd of April, and we've given you until midnight. I like to think of the fact that most of you probably work um, and if you get home from work you want a little bit of time to be able to upload it and all of that sort of stuff. So that seems to, that's my set time for my unit but other people may do it differently. Um, the word count is set at a thousand words and it's weighted at 20%. What you need to do is provide a brief literature review sort of around the um, the context of policing public order events, large social events, protest events, whatever the public order event might be. Now, this is important because you're going to do a social observation exercise which involves a social event, um, some sort of event that would possibly involve, uh, you know, police and all of that sort of stuff if it gets out of hand. So your review of the literature is about 900 words and at the end, you need to put in a very short paragraph, about 100 words, of a plan that you want to do for your social observation exercise. And this is basically so that we can have a look at it and let you know if um, you're on the right track or if it's going to be a disaster. So it just gives us a chance to give you some feedback about the social observation plan, your, the plan for the social observation before you actually do it, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so we've got a basic structure. Your literature review is fa fairly straightforward. You've got your introduction of about 150 words. You've got a critical review of the literature that you find, which is about three paragraphs, 200 words each, outlining, I think, the three key themes that would be the best um, in the literature that you've found. So this means you've got to get onto the databases, you've got to get into the library catalogue, find some really good research sources not Wikipedia, it's not some random website that you found online, this is actually good peer-reviewed research that you've got to find uh, to do this. And then you've got your conclusion of about 150 words. If you have any questions at all about finding sources, the library is an amazing place and so many people there, they are literally experts on finding this stuff. So go there, utilise the library, see if there's any little workshops and stuff that you can do. Uh, based around these types of skills. So that's pretty much your, much your literature review, introduction, review of the literature, which is the body of your lit review, and then the conclusion, it's pretty straightforward. Then we've got um, <coughs> your plan of your ob observation exercise. Hmm, I've got 150 words there, but it should be 100, 100 words. Um, this describes what your plan for the social observation exercise is. Who, what, when, where, how, all of that sort of stuff, okay? Um, it's pretty easy. And then you need a reference list. You don't need any references in your social observation plan. The references are obviously just for the literature review. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward stuff. Make sure you're using Harvard referencing style. I put up a little video last night um, that Rummy uh, uses. It talks about Harvard referencing. It's really great. So basically you need to follow these steps, searching the library databases, using Google Scholar as well, it's pretty good um, for current literature on policing public order events and public events generally. And just stick to the last 10 years and the literature can be from anywhere, it can be international, all right? Um, sorry, just making a note of that because I actually haven't put that on the slides and that's pretty important. Make sure you read the literature that you find on policing the public order events. It's pretty obvious in your lit review if you haven't. <laughs> sort and organise the literature in terms of key themes. What I like to do uh, is I actually um, print out my literature that I find and then I literally sort it into piles according to the different themes that they focus on. So you might have a pile that focuses on policing public dissent or pro protest. You might have a pile that focuses on um, general 
um, policing public ev social events like big barbecues and things like that. I even found an article yesterday that talked about uh, policing public order at Black Friday sales in the US and violence around those sales. It's extraordinary, but there is some really cool stuff out there that you can find for this assignment. So sort, sort your literature into key themes, write your review as a mini essay, as a word document, including a reference list. Remember, we've got a basic rule of having at least one reference per paragraph, okay? It's really, really important. I would suggest two would be better for this. Because it is a literature review, you know, we can't just expect you to have a whole paragraph with no per, uh, references. That would be pretty, that'd be pretty crap. So after your conclusion, of course, but before your reference list, you write your paragraph plan of your social observation exercise, write up your reference list as Harvard style, and then upload your finished assignment into the Dropbox. It's pretty straightforward. I've given you a whole bunch of examples of social events on the online chat slides that you could um, consider for this task. Public viewing of a sport game, a nightclub, a concert in a bar or other venue, the gym, choir practice, any of these would fit with this particular um, assignment. When we do the online chat, I'll go through the criteria sheet for you and we'll talk more about that. I'm not going to do that particularly now, um, but it's already, because it's already all available up online for you. But do remember that you need to be able to structure your essay, your literature review as a, as a small essay. So having an introduction, your body and your conclusion, okay? Making sure that you've got good paragraph structure that follows that peel process. P for point, E for elaborate, E for evidence, L for linking sentence. All right, if you're doing those things, you're gonna produce a pretty, a, fa a fairly good piece of work overall, depending on how much uh, work and all of that sort of stuff you put into it. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye.